invite the next contestant up the stage. Aaron Run, what's missing? What's missing? Aaron Run. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters, the most distinguished guests. Have you ever had the moment that you are simply holding your phone and you're playing every single day and then your family or friends tell you, put down your phone? Have you actually had that situation? If you do, please raise your right hand. No. You know what? That's not amazing. Because people pay attention to every single details about what you do. I remember back in the days when I was actually playing my phone just only a few weeks ago. I was playing my phone. I was enjoying my Chinese New Year. I had nags from my relatives. Aaron, come and take pictures with us. Uh, I'm okay, I'm just playing my phone. Tell me when it's important. Aaron, come by, we need you as a group photo. Yeah, you'll be fine, I'll, I'll take the pictures next time. Aaron, play respect to your elderly. We pay respect to them every single day, so why now? <laughs> And we have this moments that we thought that the world of the time we cared too much for us. Instead, I live a lingering regret because I could have done that photo shot. That day was my grandma's anniversary. And that day was very meaningful because I'm able to see her being very healthy. She was cheers with smiles, wrinkles on her head. We can see her cheering everyone up. She was happy for everyone, except me. I was her favorite grandson. And yet, because of my playing with my phone, I lost track of the things that I could have connected with her. What's missing? The bonds, the attitude, the memories, and my love for her. All indulged in just one equipment. A few days later, unfortunately, my grandma passed away. Even if I could have done that picture, if I have done that really similar picture with her, I could have stopped my regrets because that is the last photo that I'm doing with her. I regret for it to this very day, although it's only just two weeks, by expecting her life. Some things that you have done or you could have done is just around you. Have you ever thought about the people that loved you? Your family members? Your mom? When is the last time that you kissed your mom? Or your dad? Let that sing for a moment. We seem to be focusing on a lot of things that are less important than what we should have been carrying. Our priorities. We'll be working every single day running to work, we try to make an extra pay, we want to get a high rise salary, we want to do even better for many people, or my family, so. But sometimes, it's because of all these priorities that let us lose track of the things around us. Look at me, right here. There's no one around me, because I scatter them off. But maybe, because of this lesson that's able to bring me this too. This is a normal headset, there's no magical product, but this too, the listening ear. Listening to the things around you. Maybe just close your eyes for a moment. Picture the last time that you had yourself a happy moment with your most loved friends. Maybe it's just a picnic. All can be just a travel excursion. But those memories are real. Those are memories. They are there. At least you do something. What happens if you can't do it anymore? Just like what I did. I've been prioritizing my games or my work over things that I should have cared. It's not just happening around me. It's actually happening around you. When we take a step backwards, we're able to see that horizon. And I'm going to tell you that what's missing is that connection. And how do we deal with that connection? We start with a few simple steps. First, we trace back the last time that you loved your family or your loved ones. Write it down in your diary. When is the date? 
Oh, 10 years ago. At least there is a date. Next, start off with a plan to do something for them. Maybe buy them a nice dinner. Or maybe cook for them. Or write them a customized letter. It shows your love. The missing elements of love and missing elements of connections are what we are to lost these days. Have you ever had the moment that you walk down the lane, the memory lane, there's no one, there's no one there. And that memory lane is where you stand there and you just think, I've lost you. What can I do to get it back? Other than taking actions, the next step I would love you to do is to really find people, have a talk, communications. Some people just don't like to talk. For me, I never talk with my dad because I hate my dad so much. My dad is a grumpy old guy who always tell me what is best for you. And those best things is because of his life experience. And I always become a rebellious guy and never hear what he says. But those short stories, those elements, they come with good intentions. And those intentions are also missing in our priorities in life. We thought we might be right. We thought that what they tell us would be wrong and we're just proving our point. But it's because of this tension that makes us lose this connection. So ladies and gentlemen, look at the people around you. Cherish the people that makes you who you really are. They are actually really there for you from the day one to this very day. And yet, due to our priorities, we lose track of what is most important. Even the clothes that we wear is bought or made by a person that has a family or someone that is making the job more wisely to earn an income for that family. Take notice of the small things that happens around. And you may know those small things can accumulate to one gigantic, amazing thing. The missing thing 